Hello and welcome and on this week's video we're going to be looking at the different types of colour you can use. Whether it's permanent, demi, semi or quasi I'll talk you through what their purpose is and how to use them to the best effect. I'm Chris and this is the Hair Tutorial Channel and if you like videos on everything hair related don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button. So if you're just getting started out in hairdressing then knowing your colours is going to massively help you and there is a lot to learn so in this video I'm going to cover the basics, what each type of colour does. Now some of the words aren't universal and if you're from America I'll try to drop in the Americanisms because we use a different word in the UK. So you have three types of colour to work with. You have your permanent hair colour, you have a quasi or it is also called a demi colour. This also oxidises and has an activator and then you have a semi and a semi has no activator and doesn't oxidise. Oxidize. So let's take a look at each one individually. Now when I'm doing this I'm always generalizing because generally colors do work similar but always check your manufacturing instructions. So the first one to look at is your permanent hair color. Now personally I think permanent hair color is massively overused but it does have its place and it's as it says it is permanent. So what this means is it's an oxidizing color that works in the cortex of the hair. So as a hairdresser we have three points of the hair to look at. We have the medulla, the cortex and the cuticle. Now the medulla some people have and some people don't and actually it's really not relevant to coloring. So the cortex makes up the bulk of your hair and the cortex is there like fish scales or armor to protect it. Permanent hair color works in the cortex of the hair. It has different levels of activator 10, 20, 30 or 40 volt or 3, 6, 9 or 12 percent. The activator activates your tube of color and gives you different levels of lift. So generally speaking if you simply want to cover gray add tone, add some color. So 10 vol or 3% is usually enough. Again, check your manufacturer's specific guidelines. If you want to lift hair, and remember tint won't lift tint, so you can only lift natural hair, then you're gonna be using your six, nine or your 12. Depending on how much you want to lift the hair will depend on the level of developer that you then use. Now, even when you're depositing a color or covering white hair and using 10 vol, 3%, there is still a small amount of lift involved. The developer and the color will lift out some of the natural pigmentation and deposit the artificial color. This then oxidizes, swells up inside the hair and forms links, making the hair color permanent. It's ideal for covering gray hair or if your client is absolutely adamant that that's the color they want to go. Or again, if you're lightening natural hair, you then have your quasi or your demi color. Now over in the UK, in a college, it's called a quasi. However, actually in the salon, it's not a word that is used and salons tend to use the word demi or even a semi-permanent color to describe this. However, it does have an activator, usually around 2%. So therefore, if you're mixing a tube of color and an activator together, it's either gonna be a permanent color or a quasi stroke demi. However, because the activator is much lower and the molecules in this are much larger, it doesn't penetrate as deep into the cortex. It usually lays on the boundary of the cortex and the cuticle. So what this means is it can't lift. So it is used for slight gray coverage. Most quasis or demis will only cover 50 to 70 percent gray hair depending on the brand you're using and therefore they're just ideal for depositing tone if you're going darker or you want to refresh somebody's color or make it more vibrant in tone and these will gradually fade off again how long it will take to fade or the amount of fade will depend on the brand it will also depend whether you put it on dry hair or pre-washed towel dried hair as generally speaking putting it on pre-washed towel dried hair will mean that it will come off of the hair. Whereas when you apply it to dry hair, it still will leave a very subtle stain. Now quasi stroke demis are ideal just for adding color 
or refreshing the ends of previously colored hair. They're great as toners as well. And again, I think these are massively underused. Now, depending on your client base's age, you may not have many people that have a lot of gray hair. And clients these days really like changing their hair color. So if somebody's coming in and they like to try different reds and browns and go darker, and change the tones, then something like a quasi or a demi is absolutely ideal because they fade off and don't leave you with such a visible regrowth. And if they do leave a slight stain on the hair, it's much easier to get out than a permanent hair color. If your client has say less than 50% gray hair, using something like a demi or a quasi is really beneficial. Firstly, it means that you can change their tone and go darker. It also means that it gradually fades off so you don't get such a solid regrowth line. Absolutely ideal for balayage. If you do a root drag with a quasi or a demi, this is gonna gradually fade off and their natural color will come back through and they won't have such a visible solid regrowth line. Bad for us because it might mean that they don't need their hair colored as much. It's also a fantastic introduction to color for people that have never had color before. A 16, 17 year old, again, depending on the laws in your state or country, wanting to have bright red hair, well, the chances of her wanting to keep that for a year, two years, or the rest of her life are very small. So by using a quasi or a demi to do this, it means that they can try it out. It will gradually fade off. And if they want to change it, they can. And because they have generally no ammonia in them and only a small amount of lift, the damage is virtually negligible. They also generally have a quicker processing time as well, which can be really beneficial in a salon environment. Finally, you have a semi-permanent or again, a true semi-permanent, depending on the words and terminology that you use in your salon. But basically a semi has no activator. It will come in a bottle or a tube and you simply use it straight out that bottle or tube. The molecules in this are much, much larger than the previous two. And because there's no activator involved in it, there's absolutely no lift whatsoever. And they lay on the outside or just under the cuticle. And this means they should wash off. And again, depending on how often your client washes, the condition of their hair, and of course the brand you're using will depend on how long these last. But again, they can be a great introduction to color. You can get lots of reds, browns, and burnt coppers that can really either refresh somebody's old color or again, if they're young and this is their first introduction to color, can just show them what it may look like without having that super commitment. And again, they're generally a much quicker processing time. And now again, just a couple of things. Always be aware that there are a lot of things sold within the supermarkets or pharmacies that say they may be a semi or a demi color. However, and again, I am generalizing, you have to be very aware of this. There are lots of colors on the market that may have this in large print, but if they're not professional, check the smaller print. Because these colors are sold to such a mass audience, this means that they may have a mixture of permanent quasi stroke demi and semi color within them, meaning that the client won't actually get the effect that they really want. Some of the more popular semis you can buy in the supermarkets and drugstores actually contain stain. So what this means is like the stain that colors your clothes, it stains the hair. So yes, you can get longer lasting and more vibrant colors with these. However, then when it comes to removing them, it is very difficult to do so. And this is why we see lots of people who've done home colors and then try to strip them out with damaged or green hair. So it is always best, of course, to use a professional range of color. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this quick guide to the three types of color that you're gonna use. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the description box below. And if you found value in this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification button and check out some more great videos coming up.